We did it! We caught them all. We completed the mainline Pokemon game collection. If you love everything in the world of gaming from modern to retro and have a particular soft spot for handheld and portable gaming then you are in the right place because here on the Chronic Spartan show we love everything in the world of gaming and we have a particular soft spot for handheld gaming too. If that sounds like your kind of thing then hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you do not miss out on future content. So we've done it crew about a year later and five episodes in we've completed the mainline pokemon game collection the pickups i'm going to go through today have been collected over the past few months so once again i'm going to refer to my trusty notebook right here to remember what we got and how much we got it for let's check it out now first up closing off the fourth generation we got pokemon pearl and i managed to get this for a decent price of 20 pounds now this one stretches a few months back so i can't remember if i got it on facebook marketplace or if i got it on ebay i think I got this on eBay but either way £20 is a fantastic price for a fourth generation Pokemon game and I'm glad I got this a few months ago because nowadays with the remakes coming out these games are going up in price and once again like all games in this collection that are from the DS generation onwards this is complete in box with manual and everything else as I've said many times the fourth generation of Pokemon is my absolute favorite and then one I originally had was Pokemon Diamond and the one in this collection is the one I had back then when I originally bought it so to add Pearl into the collection as well is really nice to close off that generation and to seal it off nicely. Last week you saw that we got Platinum in the collection complete and in box with a little bit of a help from our friends Do You Nerd and now we have Pearl which completely closes off generation 4. Moving on another game I've been trying to get into the collection for quite a while. Not that it's been difficult to find but I wanted to find the right price and that is Pokemon Alpha Sapphire. Now we've had a Mega Ruby in the collection for quite a while I think we got that around about episode 2 and I was reluctant to pay anything more than £20 for these games as well. Unfortunately with a a little bit of patience we managed to find a copy on Facebook marketplace this was one of the few times that it was okay for somebody to post me something on Facebook marketplace it's always a bit of a risk having to pay up front first and just having to trust that the person will then send the game to you but whenever I'm shopping on Facebook marketplace I always like to take a little look at the profile of the people that I'm buying from whether I'm ordering from them to send it to me through the post or even whether I'm going to turn up in person I always think it's good practice to try and judge if you're going to get con but to also understand who you're buying off a lot of the time buying through Facebook marketplace place like we said you've got to either trust that somebody will send you the item or you're going to somebody's residence or you go into somebody's choice of location and you always need to be careful with these things so I always check out the profile first checked out the profile on this guy and he seemed totally legit and my instincts were correct he posted the game sent me a picture of it and it came through a few days later now this is one of the generations of Pokemon that I haven't touched at all I'm still working through Pokemon X right now but the issue is new releases keep on coming out and I keep on jumping onto those which makes my playthrough of Pokemon X take a bit longer than it needs to. Once I've completed Pokemon X I will be moving on to either Omega Ruby or Alpha Sapphire. I feel like it'll be Alpha Sapphire though. Either way we have this in the Pokemon game collection and we are getting closer to that full set. Next up to complete the Game Boy generation I was looking for Pokemon Silver and I've been looking for Pokemon Silver for quite a while because I didn't really want to spend any more than £15 on a Pokemon Silver cart. As simple as that sounds, it was actually really difficult finding a good deal, especially considering these carts don't pop up on Facebook Marketplace that often, and any sellers on eBay seem to have a lot of people putting in bids there. It's very difficult to get a good deal, but what I did find was a bundle, and it's usually bundles where you can find your best deals. Now this bundle was selling a copy of Pokemon Silver and Pokemon Crystal, and I managed to get these two together for £44. Now as you know, I already have Pokemon Crystal in the collection, but this copy, this version, is better than the one I already have. The actual sticker on it is in better condition and I know I'll be able to sell my other copy of Pokemon Crystal for around about £30 which brings in the total for these two coming in at around £15 which is an absolute bargain and I'm extra confident that I will sell Pokemon Crystal because I already have a buyer. Our retro refresh friend Sega Head. Sega Head I know you've been waiting months and months for me to make this video so I could record the cartridge before I send it out and I've done it now. Don't worry Pokemon Crystal is coming your way mate. But with that we have a legit copy of Pokemon Silver in the collection too and that completes the Game Boy and Game Boy Color generations of the Pokemon Mainline collection. And finally 
the game that has taken the most time to find, the one I've been waiting and waiting and waiting for to pull the trigger on. It's not a difficult to find one. Once again, I just have set prices that I do not want to go over. And this one was tricky to find underneath the £25 mark that I'd set myself. And that's Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. But we managed to do it. I managed to find a copy of Pokemon Let's Go Eevee selling on eBay for £23.50. As soon as I saw that, knowing that this was the final game, this was the last game that I needed for the Pokemon mainline game collection, I pulled the trigger straight away. And once again, with all games from the DS generation onwards, this is complete in box and in great condition as well. And with that, Pokemon Let's Go Eevee, we have completed the mainline Pokemon game collection challenge. Or have we? Because as everybody knows, Pokemon games are constantly coming out. They're turning into a yearly release. And at the time of starting this series, all the games that we've collected so far were all the games that were in the mainline collection. But since then, even more games have come out. And could we resist picking them up on release date? Of course we couldn't. With even more reason now that we're trying to collect every single game in the Pokemon collection. And so we have a copy of Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shine and Pearl. And along with these came the figures for pre-order as well. Now they are still in the bags. I've not taken them out yet. I don't currently have a place on the shelf where I want to put them yet. So I'm keeping them in the bags until I find the perfect place for them. Because I don't think there's any point in getting them out if they're not going to be on display yet. And I don't want to scuff them. But like I said, we have Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shine and Pearl along along with their pre-order bonuses in the Pokemon Mainline Collection. And I am having an absolute blast playing through Pokemon Brilliant Diamond again. A lot of the newer generations of Pokemon games have gone for a full 3D look. A look that I always thought I wanted from Pokemon games. But then with Pokemon Sword and Shield I started to realise it wasn't exactly the Pokemon I remember. It didn't create the same vibes for me, the vibes that I used to enjoy and the nostalgia that I had for Pokemon. When I started playing Pokemon Brilliant Diamond, it brought it all back. Going back to that top-down view is absolutely amazing. And the fact that it still has a kind of 3D aesthetic, like you're looking into a diorama, is just absolutely gorgeous. And I am having an absolute blast playing through Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. But I'm going to have to speed up because Pokemon Arceus Legends, or is it Arceus Legends? I don't know, there's a bit of a debate in the Retro Refresh crew. Is it Arceus or is it Arceus? Let me know in the comments below. But that's coming, literally it's releasing in three or four days from when I'm recording this episode. So I need to speed up and complete this game before that comes out. And will we be getting that in the collection? Well, you just have to wait and see. But even though we're up to date now with every single mainline Pokemon game release, the collecting still hasn't finished. I don't think the collecting ever ends for people like us. And that's why over the Christmas period, I spotted some deals that I just could not turn down. Now, I'm not a big Pokemon trading card collector, but when I was in Lidl recently and I spotted these two going for $9.99 each, I had to pick them up. These are the starter decks for Sword and Shield Rebel Clash. We've got Zamazenta and Zacian. Again, these Pokemon names are getting so tricky now. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing them right. But either way, these two are in the collection. Now, I wasn't going to pull the trigger on these. I wasn't certain. But when I looked up the value of them, they were going for about £20 each on eBay. So the fact that they were going for a tenner each in Lidl, I thought I may as well get them in the collection. And then if I don't want them, then I've got plenty of people that I know would love these. So they'll definitely find a great home. Following up, we already had the Pokeball Plus. We got that in episode four. But that Pokeball Plus is nice in its box complete. I don't really wanna to have to keep opening that box. And when I was perusing through Facebook Marketplace, I couldn't really turn down the fact that I found another Pokeball Plus going for 15 pounds. I mean, these things cost a lot of money. And this was going for 15 pounds, I had to pick it up. That way, at least I've got a backup if the other one fails or if anything happens to it. And worst case scenario, if I decide to sell it anyway, I will definitely make back more than the £15 at this cost. So we have another Pokeball Plus in the collection, which now begs the question, should I get the Let's Go Eevee box to complete that collection? I said in episode four I wasn't going to do it, but there's even more of a reason to do it now. I don't know, what do you guys think? And rounding off the pickups. Now, I think it was back in episode two, you saw that we picked up a Bulbasaur vinyl figure, kind of like a Funko Pop, but a different brand. And it was a lovely little figure. It looks really nice on the Pokemon game collection shelf. Now, a few months back when it was my birthday, my wife actually spotted that I had that Bulbasaur figure and decided she would complete the collection for me. Now, these might have snuck away in previous episodes in this series, but now it's time to show them in all the glory. And completing that set, we have Squirtle, Charmander, and Pikachu. Which means that the original starter set, along with Pikachu, can sit nice and proud on top of the Pokemon mainline game collection. 
I'm gonna have to stop calling it the Pokemon mainline game collection because we've started to branch out a little bit now, haven't we? And having said that, there is actually one more pickup I almost forgot to put in this and I literally just remembered now. And that is another Christmas gift. It is Pokemon Pinball on the Game Boy. And this was a Christmas gift from my sister-in-law. Every year, whenever it comes to Christmas, I always put a list of games that I would like from CEX. And this was on the list. And this year, my sister-in-law decided to get me Pokemon Pinball. And it was the first time I ever played this game. I've always seen it, always thought, what would it play like? And I'm absolutely blown away with how awesome this game is. It's so simple, but so enjoyable. I've always had a long loving for pinball games. I've always really enjoyed them. And playing Pokemon Pinball on the Game Boy is absolutely brilliant. And the rumble function in it works really well. So yeah, like I said, we've completed the mainline game collection challenge but I think we're starting to branch out a little bit more now. We're starting to add a few more Pokemon games into the collection. So is it over? Well, is collecting ever over? Hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you do not miss out on any future Pokemon pickup episodes. Once again, thank you for watching and see you next time.